शुक्लां ब्रह्म विचार सार परमा महाद्याम जगद्व्यापिनी वीणा पुस्तक धारिणी मभयदाम जाड्यांधकारापा हस्ते स्फाटिक मालिकाम विदतीम पद्मासने संस्थिताम भंदेताम परमेश्वरीम भगवतीम बुद्धि प्रदाम शारदाम नत्वा सरस्वती देवीम शुद्धाम गुण्याम करोम्यहम पाणिनीय प्रवेशाय लघु सिद्धांत कौमुदी एंड वी आर लुकिंग एट वॉट इज प्रग्रह्य दिस संधि वेर प्रकृति भावा इज द विधि एज इन वेर एवर एनी विधि इज गिवेन प्रकृति भावा से दैट यू मेंटेन एज इट इज वॉट एवर इज इट्स नेचर so that was the sutra we are looking at luta pragriya achi nityam when ach follows then luta and pragriya luta and pragriya lutascha pragriyascha there is no uh, there is nothing that is mentioned as a uh, commentary there lagu does not give a commentary there font size is uh, completely high it is on fit it's already in fit fit screen so okay. so lutha pragriya achi nityam prutasya praveshiti itra itra dandva that we saw and nityam what happens prakriti bhava is nityam ete achi prakrutya su sorry the, the commentary there says ete achi prakrutya su and we saw one example for that the example we saw was for lutah agachya krishna atra goscharati there between krishna as luta and atras akara krishna's pulta a and atra akara sandhi is not done why because it is prakrut prakriti bhava is mentioned there uh, i wanted to talk about another thing that earlier we have seen that there was a vibhasha given there was a vibhasha given for the in the uh, duradhute cha so duradhute cha so the sutra that we saw before duradhute cha that gave what duradhute cha plutah vibhasha there is a vibhasha dan vibhasha means there is an optionality for plutah so what happens dura sambodhare vakya se te he plutah va bhavati i hope everyone remembers what t is now we spent quite some time on what t is in this sutra so plutah is an optional adesha if you take plutah as an optionality here by this sutra while calling out a person from a distance then that plutah plutah here in this sutra plutah that plutah which has come by vibhasha in the example agachya krishna there duradhute agachya krishna is duradhute calling from a great distance and now you have vibhasha of whether to keep krishna as krishna or make it a plutah if you make it a plutah then by this sutra pluta pragruya achinityam sandhi is denied denied as in prakrut prakriti bhava is mentioned as the vidhi therefore sandhi is not done however in the paksha of duradhute cha there through vibhasha not not using the pluta paksha if you take the non pluta paksha you do not make it pluta then it will remain krishna it will remain harasva and if it remains saraswa then this krishna will become what 
here you will have so i'll mention optionally agacha krishnatra krishnatra goscharati when is this done when vibhasha is not taken here vibhasha is taken which vibhasha from durad hute cha krutah here this is pluta pakshe pluta pakshe and here it is or rather i'll say pluta vibhasha pluta or oh, pluta pakshe is okay pluta pakshe when pluta paksha is taken as a vibhasha here duradhute cha but not pluta paksha duradhute cha here vibhasha vibhasha is taken and by vibhasha another paksha vibhasha you take the option a option you do not make it vibhash vibhashaya vibhashaya na plutah this is an example so i will not put square brackets i'll put a i mean it's an explanation therefore i'll say vibhashaya na plutah in this this is also an explanation it is not a an anuvrutti so i'll just put it in to differentiate i'll make the bracket chain pluta paksha when pluta it is there then pluta is denied here this is not an example at all when pluta paksha is not taken then you will have this savarna dirga sandhi and then akas savarne ne dirga so dirga sandhi will happen in non pluta paksha not through, because this sutra is not applicable at all so this also i'll put in bracket optionally when you do not make pluta therefore agacha krishna atra goscharati or agacha krishna atra goscharati because pluta is not done hraswa remains and hraswa akara which is sambodhana and atra akara will have a savarna dirga sandhi so this was left to mention now what is remaining from this sutra pluta is covered pragriya remains to be covered so pragriya in in case pragriya is followed by an ach a vowel then nityam something will happen what will happen nityam prakriti bhava prakriti bhava is nitya here prakriti bhava prakrutya it is written prakrutya that is tritiya ekochana anuvrutti is there prakrut prakriti bhava will happen what happens in prakriti bhava it will remain as it is but what is pragriyam we do not know what pragriyam is pragriyam has been used therefore lagukara brings us sanya uh, sutra what is pragriyam pragriyam is defined in this sutra idude divachanam pragriyam idude divachanam pragriyam what does the sutra say eat eat ut and eat ut and eat eat these are the components of the samasa here the sama it is a single word eat ut eat dvachanam both prathama ek vachana and this is also prathama ek vachana it's a sanya sutra what does the samasa become now if you samasa is what eat cha ut cha e cha e dud e e dud e and it is a iti samahara dwandva samahara dwandva will not tell you how many components are there it is neuter and ek vachana so you see this ending in ek vachana although there are three components that's a samahara dwandva as a group singular is used and it it is in neuter napunsakalinga therefore divachanam pragriyam so all are in neuter it's a sanya sutra what it says that eid udet eid udet now eid udet are what eid eid ud 
this he says e dud e dantam so here what we have seen earlier the tadanta vidhi is applied e du this dvivachana e du that is what his dvivachana therefore you have an adjective what kind of e du that dvivachana dvivachana e du that not any other e du that so there is a there is an adjective to it and when visheshana is there then you can apply the tadanta vidhi and here tadanta vidhi is applied by that you get e du that becomes e do de it will take anta and in prathama ekavachana in napunsaka linga it will become e do de dantam so that dvivachana which is e do de dantam that dvivachana is called as pragrijam what kind of dvivachana so other way you can see you can see e do de which is dvivachana or dvivachana which is e do de so here you say dvivachana is pragrija that is how basic meaning is what dvivachana is pragriyam but not all dvivachana dvivachana which is e du de thereby e du de becomes becomes a qualifier to dvivachana thereby it can take becoming a, a visheshana it can take tadanta vidhi and thereby e du de dantam that dvivachana that dual which ends with e meaning dirgha ikara or ukara dirgha ukara or ekara ekara is always dirgha so taparakarana is not needed here so taparakarana is here this taparakarana for eight elsewhere also this taparakarana this taparakarana just e if you mention then it means dirgha just u also means dirgha just a also means dirgha now if you put e u and a together all these will vanish in sandhi some kind of sandhi will happen and you will get some letter a single letter or uh, whatever ach sandhi results in e kara u kara and a kara and components will not be known therefore for spashta spashtartha for spashtartha this taparakarana is done not to limits its uchcharana but this taparakarana takara here is added for each so that they do not mess up in a sandhi in an ach sandhi e u and a do not merge with each other that's why for spashtartha this taparakarana is done otherwise all of them are dirgha e du de and dirgha in dvivachana you you will get dirgha ramau hare hari guru and so on e du de antam dvivachanam pragriyam syat pragriyam is pragriya sanyakam syat it takes the pragriya sanya they the, that dvivachana is called as pragriya why is it called pragriya what is the use of pragriya sanya this is the context of our atsandhi by the earlier sutra if it is pragriya meaning e du de anta dvivachana if it is there and it is followed by an ach then nitya it will take prakriti bhava it will take prakriti bhava it will not undergo sandhi that is the idea here in the atsandhi prakarana so e du de anta dvivachan pragriyam sya examples are given three examples are given one for e danta one for u danta and one for a a danta sorry what is the example here hari eto so uh, in fact i don't need to write anything hari eto hari is what prathama dvivachana or dvitiya dvivachana etau these two these two haris so these two haris you can take as hari as krishna or you can take hari is a meaning for a monkey also or it is a meaning for ashwa also horse also there cannot be we cannot think of two haris can think of uh, there are many haris who are uh, as krishnas who are dancing with uh, uh, or imagine to be dancing with um, with uh, uh, the, uh, uh, the the krishna leela when you say leela so that way also it can be seen otherwise you can see as horses or uh, ashwa meaning wise people are thinking of why two haris but vyakarana as vyakarana example it is taken i saw somewhere that ashwa or uh, the monkeys were mentioned so they are also called hari 
So Hari Eto, these two are Hari. Now Hari Ekara, Dirhe Ekara and Ekara should have a Sandhi by the rules we know. There should be an Ach Sandhi. But here there is no Sandhi done. Hari Eto, there is no Sandhi. And thereby, what, what Sutra is applied here? The earlier Sutra. Earlier Sutra is there. Sorry. Luta. Pragriyaha Yaha Pragriyaha Achi Nityam Nityam Prakriti Bhava. So here Prakriti Bhava is happening. Nityam Prakritya. Example is for Pragriya here. Pruta Pragriya. Pragriya is the example, so I will underline that. Similarly, Vishnu, Imo, there also Sandhi is expected, but it is not done. And the third example is Gange, Amu. So, these are two Gangas, Amu. They are also dual. Takes Pragriya, Pragriya Sanya, and thereby. Prakriti Bhava, Sandhi is not done. These are the examples. Next Sutra. So you can see whichever Sutra was Prapta, it is an Apwada for that Sandhi Sutra. Next Sutra is Adaso Math. Sorry. So, Adaso Math Sutra says Adaso Math. Adaso Math what? 1111 here and 1112. So, you look at look at the Sutra part. Huh? Here, E do this, Devachan, Pragriyam. E do this and Pragriyam has an Anuvritti. E do this goes till the next Sutra. Pragriyam goes till 19th Sutra. So, Adasomath is Udet Pragriyam. This is how the Anurutti would be. Adasomath is Udet Pragriyam. What is Adas? Adaso. Adaso is Adasaha. Adasaha Math. And Adasa is what? Adas is Adas is the Pratipadika, it's a pronoun, Adas Shabda. Adas Shabda Adas is what? Shashti Ekvachana. Adasaha of Adas Pratipadika is a Sarvanama and Math. Math is sorry, Panchami Ekvachana. Idu de is any of you seen Pragriyam. Idu de Antam. But Divachana is not considered anymore. Idu de. Here, Adasaha, Adas Shabda. How it, Adas is one of the most complicated declensions because it, it does not have a standard uh, rules. Lot of, lot of uh, sutras apply and then it has various forms. Also, across uh, uh, lingas uh, across uh, pull linga, stri linga, and napunsaka linga, some forms are same, like asau. Asau is common in uh, uh, pull linga and stri linga for prathama ekavachana. Amu is also common. Amu is common for what? Amu is common, common for all three genders. Then in pull linga, it will become asau amu ami. In stri linga, it will be asau amu amu hu. In Napunsakalinga, it is Adaha, this Adha Sakara of the Pratipadika becomes Visarga. So, Adaha, Amu, Amuni. It's a little tricky declension, but what are we interested in? We are interested in the first two lines, as in Prathama Yubhakti and Dvitiya Yubhakti. Asau, Amu, Ami, Amu, Amu, Amun. This is how the uh, Pullinga declines. And then Asau, Amu, Amuhu, Amum, Amu. Amuhu. This is how 
स्त्रीलिंगा डिक्लेन्स एंड नपुंसक इज अदह अमु अमुनी अदह अमु अमुनी बट द जीवचना अमु इज कॉमन टू ऑल थ्री लिंगास एंड अमी इज एडिशनली देयर इन पुल्लिंगा बहुवचना नाउ इफ द अर्लियर सूत्रा ऑलरेडी कवर्स द्विवचना द्विवचना इज ऑलरेडी कवर्ड व्हाट इज नॉट कवर्ड दो is the plural plural of where you get am, ami ami that you get in plural that is not covered in the pullinga prathama bahuvachana there you get ami and here what it says is adaso math says what asmat parau idu idu to pragruyo stah ami is the example ami is what ami is prathama bahuvachana pullinga pullinga and not only that although amu is covered by the earlier sutra here pullinga is covered by this sutra therefore the earlier sutra idu de dvachana pragruyam covers the strilinga and napunsaka linga amu whereas this sutra adasomat covers the pullinga amu and ami that's why ami is one example and amu is another example this is we will we'll see that anyway so adasa math e do de no need to write anything here adasa for adas shabda and adasa shashti ek vachan is here adas the math makar uttara so he says asmat paro e do to pragruyav stah the ikara ukara and ekara ekara is not a part at all here in declensions either ikara is there or ukara is there because it declines declines like what it declines as if you see how it declines ada shabda ada shabda shabda pullinge in pullinga how does it decline sorry asau amu and ami our interest is these two so these two are our interest area this is how they decline so adas shabda declines now this adas adas shabda this makarat after the makarad ukara which is there this makara uttara math means what after makara which makara not any makara makara which belongs to adas shabda meaning adas shabda here shashti ek vachana is what is called avayava shashti avayava shashti is this makara in in the sutra patha in the sutra patha this shashti is interpreted as as this what is a part of this adas shabda asau is also adas shabda adas shabda is declension amu is also although you don't see the form adas still this amu is a form of adas ami is a form of adas therefore this makara which you see here and this makara that you see here this is these makaras both these makaras are part of what of the adas therefore this is makara which is part of adas and after that makara so after the makara of the adas shabda the ikara or ukara this ukara or ikara ending with that so therefore here also you can say asmat paro idutau or anta so idutau here you can take only ikara and ukara they are called as pragruya so pragruyavstah therefore this ukara and this ekara of the adas shabda which are following makara are called as pragruya thereby what are the examples here now example is ami isha any no there is nothing to be done here ami isha so ami is isha those those isha so those ishaha ikara and ikara does not have a savarna dirga sandhi and 
it remains a me takes what pragriya sanya and after pragriya sanya is maintained then or retained then you get prakritya prakriti bhava is ordained by the earlier sutra that we saw two sutras are prita pragriya achinityam so thereby by prita prita pragriya achinityam you get prakriti bhava sorry i went ahead then uh ram krishna amu now uh, okay here the asmat paro idutau paro is is divachana and idutau why sandhi done here here you see h o a y sandhi can anyone tell me why sandhi is done here paro idutau or in ram krishna amu those ram krishnas those both ram krishna rama and krishna or asmat paro idutau here why is sandhi done why are they not uh, getting prakriti bhava here you see that right paro so here you see paro paro id utau that is said here and then another says what ram krishna amu why is sandhi done between these two between aukara and akara sandhi is done and aukara ikara sandhi is done prakriti bhava is not done why any answers can it take prakriti bhava or not by the sutra that we are we saw earlier idu de divachanam pragriyam arde divachanam ramakrishna we are the word is divachana and parau is also divachana why don't both of them take prakriti bhava why don't they get pragriya sanya and take prakriti bhava anyone yes no some answer please what is it ending with at least tell me what what are both ending with what is paro ending with what is ramakrishna ending with what is the ending letter how is how part of idu det no simple so idu det is not part of it's a trick question just to keep you guys awake so paro aukara is not part of it is not an e it is not an u it is not an a but it is au so au has to be discarded au is not part of e du de therefore sandhi is done here and another reason that ramakrishna and paro see ramakrishna and paro why these examples are used here specifically see ramakrishna amo asate here sandhi is done and what is being said here is that this ईशा रामकृष्ण अमु आसाते ईशा सो अमु अमु इज द एग्जांपल हियर बट व्हाई रामकृष्ण हैज बीन मेंशन टू से दैट रामकृष्ण आर ए पुल्लिंग इज अ पुल्लिंग शब्द पुल्लिंग अकारांत पुल्लिंग एक द्विवचन प्रथमा द्विवचन देयरफॉर रामकृष्ण सेज दैट अमु हियर इज पुल्लिंग अदरवाइज अमु दिस अमु यू गेट इन नपुंसक एंड स्त्रीलिंग आल्सो टू से दैट दिस दिस अदसो मात sutra gives pragriya sanya for pullinga and pullinga is the example here pullinga is not an example for the earlier sutra uh, here in the earlier sutra idu de pullinga as in this uh, ramakrishna as dual is not an example here 
it is an example here because he wants to show that this ami and amu get this from here from the from this uh, sutra although the earlier can apply this sutra will still have meaning because ami is being covered here ami ami isha and thereby because you see this hari eto vishnu eto vishnu and hari are examples of the of pulling itself but ramakrishna one commentator says there ramakrishna example by that it is shown that this ami and uh, here this sutra uh, applies for pullinga math kim why math has been used so there amukyatra so let's take this math kim below adash or adash shabda abo better how does adash decline so there adash shabda since so asmat paro idutu pragriyasta and ami ishaha ramakrishna amu here amu and asate there is ukara and akara there is no sandhi done here there is no sandhi and math kim why math has been mentioned adasaha idu det would have been sufficient why math has been done there a counter example is given as amukyatra amukyatra so sentence is amukyatra what is amuke so it's a little difficult so don't look at all the sutras but i just want to tell you what is the amuke form it is not an adas form as in adas form as in it is an adas shabda but that adas shabda avayava makara is mentioned because amuke also has adas shabdas makara but what is being said is that when amuke is mentioned this adas shabda that time it should not get the uh, get the pragriya sanya that's why it is mentioned that math paraha math para idu det only that math paraha adas shabdas ikara uh, ukara will take <coughs> ikara ukara or ekara ekara is prapta here amuke atra ekara but this ekara is not although it is edanta ad shabda still this ekara is not pragriya and thereby sandhi should happen between this ekara and this atra therefore this counter example is clarifying that math makara uttara ekara ukara has been mentioned for ad shabda <coughs> this ekara although is not makara uttara makara uttara is immediately although it is uttara after makara only but there is an ukara and kakara sitting there are two letters sitting it is not immediately following makara now just i'll just quickly mention this uh, a difficult set of sutras but how this adas shabda becomes amuka it is a taddita shabda <coughs> taddita shabda and adas ad uh, by avyaya avyaya sarvanam nam akans prakte he before the t t of adas shabda is as as is the t before the t before the prakte before the t akanch pratyay is added for sarvanama or we forget avyaya for sarvanama so this adas is a sarvanama so akanch pratyay is and akanch content is chakara is it by halantyam and tasya lopa this akara is also it by upadeshi janmanasiket ak is the content so ak is the pratyay which is added before t and adakas you will get the word as adakas swarthe only it has a meaning adakas we'll see at the end we'll see the what the word is and then i'll tell the meaning adakas some kind of a swartha meaning is there it's a taddita taddita pratyaya a then a the what is this adakas a dakara akara and kas this is how you break it this dakara and akara by another sutra becomes adukas there is one sutra which is adaso adaso ser dadu do mah difficult sutra it gives two adeshas one is the adesha for adasaha for adasaha for adas shabda asehe asehe this as which is adukas this adukas as this asehe da dat u this ukara after the dat dat like math dat dat is after the kara after the kara whatever is there this ukara after dakara the ukara which is there 
sorry, uh, whatever is there that takes Ukara. Ukara is one Adesha. Therefore, Akara is this. Dakara Uttarat Akara. This Akara is not mentioned. Whatever is after the Adasaha Asehe Adasa Asehe Da. So, Da, uh, this Dakar, da, Dat, Dat is Dakara Uttarat. Whatever is there, this, this becomes a Sthani and that takes what? U Adesha. The U that you see sitting after Dat, U. That is the first Adesha. Second Adesha is Daha Maha. So, Dakara Sya Makara Adesha Bhavati. So, this Dakara will also take Makara Adesha. So, this will be, this Akara will become Ukara. Dakara will become Makara. So, you will get what? Amu. So, you will get Amu and Amu. This Kas will still remain Amukas. Amukas is the Pratipadikam now, which is the Tadvita Shabda of Adas. Pratipadika to give a meaning. Adas means that and Amuka gives such and such. That kind of a slight shade of meaning changes. So, Amuka, we have this in Marathi, in Hindi also, in Shuddha Hindi there is this usage Amuka. Amuka, Amuka. Amuka is such and such person. So, there is such and such person or such and such thing. There you use Amuka Shabda, which is the Taddita of Adas. Now, this it is still an Adas Shabda. Therefore, Amukas in Swarte kind of a meaning when you decline it, amukas se plus just in plural, then what will happen is that amukas just, just takes an adesha she, shakara is it, ikara is the content, so just pratyaya takes ikara adesha, amukas. Now this amukas becomes what? Further amukas will become, uh, there is another uh, tyadadi naam, uh, tyadadi naam aha, aha is the adesha. I will just quickly go through it, not important sutras right now, but I just want to show Amuka, how do you get this Amuke, very difficult to understand the form Amuke which Vibhakti, so there what is happening is this Ikara, this uh, sorry, Sakara, Tyadarinam, this Sakara, Angasya, Antyasya, Alon, so by Alontya Sutra, Alontyasya, this Sakara is replaced by A, then there is an Akara here and Akara here, then Atogune, Apadantat ekaha pararupa. Pararupa is akara. So akara plus akara in the prakriya avastha will take akara, the pararupa adesha. So amuka plus a will not become amuka by savarna dirga sandhi because it is an apandanta. Apadanta akara. So that akara and this akara, amuka akara and a which is the replacement for sakara will take. The akara is a guna shab, it is a guna letter. Therefore, when guna letter follows an at, an akara, and an apadanta akara, then it will take ek pararupa sandhi, and pararupa is guna. Therefore, guna, this guna akara, akara itself is the adesha for amuka akara and this akara. So, you get amuka itself. Amuka plus a is not amuka, it is amuka, and e, when you add, Amuka plus E is a she pratya which is a replacement for just which is a prathama bhuvachana. There is a guna sandhi, ad gunaha, so akara, akara uttarasya ikara, ikara na saha sandhi, guna sandhi and sandhi is akara and ikara sandhi is ekara. So amuke is what? Amuke is basically those such, such people, such, such people or such things amuke. Now going back to the example, those amuke atra, such, such and such people here, Atra. Now this Amuke, if Makara is not mentioned in the Sutra, Adaso Math, only Adasa is mentioned, then what will happen is this Amuke, Ekara, which is part of Adas Shabda, that will also become Pragriya. And if you make it Pragriya, then no Sandhi can be done between this Ekara and Akara. Therefore, Math is mentioned and Math says that this Ekara, should have been immediately following Makara. It is not immediately following Makara, although it is a, an Ekara of other Shabda, still it is not immediately following Makara. Therefore, Amuke does not get Pragriya Sanya, thereby Enga Padanta Ati Sandhi applies and you get Amuketra. This is the example here. Counter example really. How does Sutra indicate something? Sutra indicates nothing. Everything is from the Sampradaya Kalyanji. 
So, what is for masculine, what is for Sri Linga? There is a lot of discussion goes on as to why another sutra is created by uh, Sutrakara. Why not the earlier sutra? So, all these in this discussion, something comes out. Various Tikakara say it in various ways. But now, how how do we know? Now, you tell me earlier sutra, Dhyachana, Ami. Ami, can it apply Ami? It cannot apply. So, Ami is given. Now, other, earlier sutra is only for Dhyachana. Ami is not Dhyachana. It cannot apply. So, this sutra is created for Ami itself. Now, one Tikakara says, uh, this Amu, now see, this is hair splitting. To you and me, why should it matter which sutra is applying? You know the Sandhi, move on, that's it. But now, if you want to inquire, no, I, I want to do debates in Vyakarana Sabhas, then you are you need to know why where, which sutra is applying. If it is Pullinga, whether it is this sutra applying, other somas, or earlier sutra. These are all technical details which are irrelevant to us because uh, it needs several years of studies, which uh, at least I am not interested in studying and it is very difficult level of detail to understand. It is only when we have understood everything else, we go into these details. So, first, second round, stick to Laghu or a little more than that, Kashika. Whether it is for Pullinga or Strilinga, hair splitting when we do, it is needed. It is an exam question and uh, many of them would not even be able to answer. These are additional details. I looked it up, therefore I mentioned. Otherwise to us, see earlier sutra also has this Hari, Hari is which, it is a pulling of Vibhakti. So, I can say that here, here example is given. Therefore, I can contradict one Tikakara and say that no, some, some explanation somebody is giving that this Amu is a Pullinga because Ramakrishna has been used and he is justifying Amu Asate instead of that Ramakrishna Amu Asate has been said. There one, one he says that this is showing that this Amu is Pullinga. Now, if uh, Pullinga has been used, in fact, this uh, amu asate as an example if it is used by whichever tikakara laghu uses this if laghu has used this then he is indicating by ramakrishna that this amu is pullinga what does this tell you that here pullinga example why is it taken if amu is covered in the earlier sutra itself you don't need this example at all however he uses this example here and uses ramakrishna to show that this amu is pullinga it is not strilinga Thereby, he says that this is an example for other Sumat, not an example for Ariya. That's all it is. Generally, a little too much delving also can cause uh, cause confusion sometimes. So I try to avoid, but then I find some interesting comment. I mention it. Okay. So moving on, Chadayo Satve. Chadayo Satve. This is the sutra. So, here Nipata Sanya is being shown. Oh, sorry. Chadeva Sattva here. So, the Sutra, next Sutra is, it is just a uh, Sanya Sutra again. Nipata is the Sanya. Nipata is the Sanya. Nipata generally is used when it is not derived. You have lot of uh, words which are derived and in some paksha that Nipata meaning that is you do not have a particular Prakriti and Pratyaya differentiation. Prakriti means the body which takes Pratyaya. So, if you say Tingantapada, Tingantapada there is Dhatu is the Prakriti and Pratyaya is, is added to the Dhatu. That Dhatu becomes Prakriti. In Subanta, Pratipadeka is the Prakriti and then you have Pratyaya which is Supratya. So, Thing Pratyaya is the yeah, or Supratya is Pratyaya, but Prakriti in Thinganta is Dhatu and Prakriti in uh, Dhatu and then Anga also, further there may be Anga and in, uh, in Subanta it is a Pratipadikam. So, what happens is that in Subanta they decline, but Nipata, in Nipata that derivation is not seen. So, some words are called as Nipata means this is how the words are. You need not be able to derive, you may not be able to derive it or you need not derive it. This is how the word is, the Shastra say this is how the word is and Vyakrana Shastra there they are called as Nipatas. 
But in Sutra Pata, when you make a particular thing as Nipata, what is the idea? You make it as basically they become Avyaya. So Nipata Sanya is used to make it an Avyaya Sanya. Further, Nipata says that this is how the world is, and all words which are like that, they are, that is how they are. Then those Nipatas, they become further Avyaya. Avyaya, what is the use of making Avyaya? So that you can make Supluk. Thereby we call it as indeclinable and I have told it earlier also, it is not really that they are indeclinable, they decline in the same manner in uh, all vibhaktis. Okay? Most cases there may be exceptions, they optionally there may be exceptions or mandatorily there may be an exception, but generally we say they are indeclinable because they appear to have the same form in any vibhakti carrying their meanings, but avyaya loses its supratya. So they decline in a particular vibhakti and then because they are called as avyayas, they get avyaya sanya, being nipatas or not, whatever becomes an avyaya loses its supratya. So what is this? Chadayo asatve. Chadayo asatve. Chadaya asatve. What? If you look at it, 1457. Different pratrana altogether. 1457. So, first chapter, fourth pada, and 57. 57 sutra says what? Here, it says chade asatve. What comes from earlier sutra? Nipataha. This is till 98, it goes. This Pragrishwara Nipata. The entire sutra comes down. Pragrishwara before, before Rishwara. I have shown it earlier also, I think. Rishwara. So, Pragrishwara 98. If you look at the 98 99 sutra, you will see this Adhirishwara. So, 97 sutra Adhirishwara. So, Rishwara is there. This Rishwara, Rishwara, Rishwara before Rishwara. This is how Anuvrutti is identified here. It says what? Before Prak, before Rishwara, Pragrishwarat, before Rishwara, Nipataha. All these are listed till from 56 Sutra till 98. All these are Nipataha. Therefore, this 1457 also what Chadayo Asatve, there may be a Vartika here. Chadayo Asatve, Chadayaha, Chakara Adayaha. So, Chadaya is a Prathama Bhuvachana Asatve. Asatve, when it is an asatva, asatva it says that it is not a dravya, that's what it says, when not a dravya, asatve, asatve what? Nipataha, Sanya Sutra, Nipataha has an anuvrutti here in this sutra, which is also Pratama Bhavachana. What does the Vyakshanakara say, Lagukara say? Adravyarthaha chadeha nipataha shivu, that's all. Adravyartha, Adravyartha comes from Asatve. Sattva, uh, something, a substance which is existent. Dravya is a technical uh, definition, Nyaya Shastra or in Vyakarana also. Dravya, we know what, what Dravya is, some substance, something. When it is an existent thing which can be transacted with, that kind of a word, Padartha, will have a Pada, indicating it, denoting Pada Padartha as a Sambandha. So, whenever you say, say, ghata, ghata you say, ghata is a, so, ghata, prithvi, something you mentioned. So, that is what sattva padartha, that sattva padartha is indicated by the word. Now, similarly, this cha adaya, cha adi gana, so chakara adi, chakara, many other words may be there, letters, words, uh, whatever. But, starting with chakara, which gana is there, in that gana, whichever, word is mentioned, if it is a adravya vachi, if it is not indicating, it does not stand, that pada does not stand for a dravya, then it is a nipata. So, we will see examples, adravyarthaha, adravyartha. here he gives no example, let me pick up an example, chadeva satve from, let me see if uh, kashika has an example. Uh, Ashika. 
uh, actually uh, we don't need uh, much example only ch let's say let's take with chur itself so chur itself so example is not needed we stick with chur chur so ra uh, ramaha chur lakshmana chur there ch chur the chur which is mentioned that is that chur is what it is not standing for any padartha it is just and it is it is it is joining rama and lakshmana together so therefore it is an adravya artha adravya artha chakara so that ch chakara that not chakara ch chakara i'm saying ch with a ch a that ch ch is what that is nipata and nip, by being nipata it is it is a it is an avya it will become an avya it will not decline it will not decline if it declines it will lose its pratya so pratya and ch whatever you say it will be ch in any way you see it it will be ch so that's what this sutra means similarly pradaya pradaya is what next sutra 1457 1458 in the sutra pata this sutra also says what pradaya no nothing else pradaya nipatasyu pradaya nothing else needs to be done only vibhakti i'll mention 13 and what pradaya i didn't mention here pragrishwara not needed but pragrishwara at pragrishwara nipata panchami ek vachana here before before that so pragrishwara is only for to indicate how long will the anurutti go but same continues here as well in pradaya so the sanya sutra all it says is pradaya chadaya pradaya both so we says sap pradi gana earlier same that pradi upasarga upa there there also pradi pra etc so you see that see uh, uh, earlier we saw the prakasha so pra plus kasha pra purvak kasha what is that pra pra is a is a is an entity a member from the pradi gana so pradi gana also all the pradi ganas are also they are also nipataha but what does it say here the pradaya asatve has an anurutti again asatve has an anurutti to 58 so we have to add asatve here additional anurutti is asatve meaning what again the same thing when asat asatve sati asatve sati meaning adravya arthe sati adravya arthe sati ete api ete api pradaya tatha sihu so sihu also you can bring down from earlier uh, vyakhya lagu vritti and then use that so pradaya also are pradi so chadi and pradi are nipata that's all why does he need that because he is further continuing the pragriya sanya why is why is this chadi getting nipata sanya pradi getting nipata sanya uh, and by the next sutra they getting pragriya sanya necessary because we are in ach prakarana where pluta pragriya achi nityam something that prakriti bhava is the context sub context in the ach sandhi and prakriti bhava where else will it happen when pragriya sanya is there and where else will pragriya sanya be is there when in particular kinds of nipatas where will that particular kind of nipata be there pradi and chadi that's how we have landed in taken a detour of the sanyas to understand what else gets pragriya sanya and thereby sandhi at sandhi is denied because it takes prakri, prakriti bhava sandhi rather it takes prakriti bhava adesha so next sutra tells you this says nipata eka janam nipata eka janam what does this mean it says nipatah nipata eka janam let me just check if there is a typo here no okay nipatah okay nipatah nipatah ekach ekach anang so nipatah is also prathama ekochan nipatah nipatah syat what will become nipatah ekach and anang anang ekach nipata so what does the 
लघुवृत्ति से शेष एक अच्छ निपात अज एक एकोज निपात मीन्स एक अच्छ निपात सिंगल अच एंड हियर यू सी एक अच्छ एक अच्छ मीन्स वॉट समास इज डन एक समास एल्सवेर यू सी एक अर्लियर आई टॉक्स अबाउट एक अनेकाल अनेकाल देर वी एड सीन एकाल अनेकाल देर दे आर बहुरी इज हवेर दिस इज नॉट द बहुरी हियर दि समास लेट्स डू समास एक अच्छ एक अर्लियर वी एड सीन वॉट दिस इज नॉट सो आई मेन्शन नॉट आई टेक दिस आउट टू कॉन्ट्रास्ट विथ वॉट वी एड सीन लाइक अनेकाल और एकाल देर इट वॉज बहुरी हियर इट इज कर्मधार या तत्पुरुष इन बहुरी इफ यू एड बहुरी हियर वॉट यू गेट एक सॉरी एक अच्छ यस्मिन शब्दे यस्मिन और अक्षर समूह और शब्दे सह एक इफ यू मेक दैट कैंड ऑफ अ समास टू मेनी टाइप ऑफ इफ यू मेक दिस then anything that has a single ach will become nipata but it is not true and anything means what let's say uh, see the sutra 1114 1114 if you look at it you go back 1114 nipata eka janam what do you get here ईदूदेत प्रगृह्यम ईदूदेत इज नॉट कमिंग टू फोर्टीन बट प्रगृह्यम इज कमिंग सो निपात एका जना एनी निपात विच हैज अ सिंगल अच विच इज नॉट एन आंग दैट विल गेट प्रगृह संज्ञा एंड इफ इट गेट्स प्रगृह संज्ञा देन देर विल बी नो संधि पॉसिबल देर विल बी प्रकृति भाव हाउ एवर दैट इज नॉट द आइडिया Therefore, eka ach should not be made a bahuri. It should be a karma dhar. Eka ach, a single ach, a single ach which is a nipata, and thereby an avyaya. Forget that. That's that's elsewhere needed. But here, eka ach, a single ach is what nipata, ang varja, but which should not be ang. Ang is also what ang has. If you see ang, what does ang have? Ang. This is ang, ang mariyada abhivid, uh, mariyado abhividu. We have seen a samanta. So let's say a uh, var a varanyasya uh, meghasya, varshasya. There is varsha till up to varanasi or up to and including varanasi. There ang is used as a mariyada or abhividi. Ang content is what? Nyakara is it. It is only a single ach. Therefore, ach ang is also a nipata, but it is it is also an ekach nipata. But ang varja, ang is not not pragrya. So nipa ekach. What is it? Anang. What is it? Pragryam. Pragryam is the here. It is giving the pragrya sanya. Pragryam from the earlier sutra. so ekha ach nipatah a single ach which is a nipata like ch pr etc but not ang in ang a but which is not ang there are two as one is an a a another is an ang a there that a will may get uh, pragrya sanya but ang will not get pragrya sanya this is the differentiation therefore the sutra says anang ekach nipata that nipata which is a single ach which is ang varja bereft of ang that will be pragrya pragrya sya for example e e indra so there may be a distinct you look at indra e indra so e is some kind of an excla- exclamation so you see e look at so in other languages also you have in english also you see e u so e indra u umesha u is a nipata E is a nipata. It is a single ach nipata, as in it is a single ach and it is nipata. It is not ang. It is e u, which is not ang. Again, this will become what? This is this will become pragrya. Thereby what? 
E Indraha will not become E Indraha. There is no Savarna Dirga Sandhi here. Why? Because E will be Pragriya and it will take Prakriti Bhava. Similarly, U will be Prakriti Bhava. You will not get U Meshaha. Otherwise, you will get an U Umeshaha. Instead of that, you will get U Mesha, which is not right. U Mesha means nothing. Umesha is a person's name, Indra is a name, and U and E are Pragriya Nipatas, and it is just a kind of an exclamation there or something of that sort. It is an utterance which is a Nipata, which, ke, which is a Pragriya, and thereby Sandhi is denied. Okay, there is some typo here. We will see this. Uh, uh, I will mention A and Ang. We will cover that in the next part or tomorrow. I uh, will cover this I'll, with the typo. We will stop here. Dhrtavasane nataraja raju nana dhatakkana panchavaram udhartu kama sanakadi siddha neta vimarshe shiva sutra jalam. Any questions?